What's up guys, my hair looks like shit because I have been wearing a hat literally all day and I'm not arsed to like wash my hair for the sake of doing this uh, reaction video. My beard looks like shit too because, well because it always looks like shit but particularly I've been wearing a face mask all day so it's indented a certain kind of shape into my facial hair. I have been trying to upload one new video a week, usually on Fridays not always but around the weekend and uh, I don't really have anything lined up for this Friday so I'm gonna make another reaction video uh, which is probably um, a bad idea not just because <laughs> I never seem to enjoy making these uh, but because they don't get that many views and I do it because I feel like I should be making content to like make it seem like the channel is alive but uh, really, like, people don't watch the videos that I make that aren't Columbo reviews, <laughs> so there's no point to me making this reaction video. And I think actually it's detrimental to the channel because someone commented on one of my videos saying that, uh, like, the YouTube algorithm only rates your channel by, like, your lowest viewed video or something like that. So if I have videos with low views, that makes it seem like my channel has low views even if other videos have high views so I should really just stop making uh, videos that get low views and just purely stick uh, to Columbo but I, I don't want to do that uh, I want to have fun <laughs> have I ever looked like I'm having fun making a, a reaction video I had fun I, I had fun making a the Godzilla vs Kong video because that looked cool um, but that movie fucking sucked, so there's always a downside. There's always a downside. Today was a good day. I had a good day today. It was just tiring. So I feel like I'm coming off as negative or depressing, but really, I'm just, I'm tired. I've been on my feet all day. <laughs> it's bad enough that people don't watch these videos because they're reaction content, and now it is an even reaction content. It's just me, <laughs> me the bitching and complaining. What is this, the Dave online stream? All right, so I'm going to watch two things today that came out recently. God, one of these things came out like a month ago. This is so irrelevant. The first is the new, like, I guess longer trailer for the new Rugrats reboot. Uh, I did a reaction to the teaser a while ago and I gave my general thoughts about the reboot. So go watch that because it doesn't have that many views so I'd appreciate more views in that video. Not really, don't have to watch it, I don't care. Uh, but I'm gonna watch the full trailer for that. I think I'm going to watch the trailer for the new G.I. Joe movie, Snake Eyes Origins, or whatever the fuck that's called. Because uh, I'm vaguely interested in both these projects. Alright, on with it. I'm going to start with... Robux. Ooh, it started. I didn't mean to play it, but okay. Uh, it's one of those... I'm not going to start complaining already. Based on Doki Jones. What a baby's gotta do. Ooh, Who's that looks rough. His life animation looks rough on, there. Nice. It's not that bad on Angelica, but it looks really bad on Tommy. Yeah, like so does Susie. Susie's looks really bad. Yo, they got the giant spike on here. Sheesh. Face Chucky. What is this fucking... Sponge out of water? I wish that movie was based. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, I didn't even this fucking trailer. Whoa, what was that? That was a recreation. They've gotten better over time. Whoa, well, there's still Pickles voice. They got still Pickles up in here. Let me get a look at that. Let me get a look at that again. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess that's that trailer. Whatever. Looks fine. What I said last time was that it doesn't. It doesn't look like offensively bad, which is the main thing. Like it. it will, nothing will ever be as good as like classic regrets. Let's be real. I do, I usually do these on a tripod. I could not be arsed, man. I'm so tired, so I'm holding this with my fucking arms. So the camera angle's going everywhere. All right. Moving swiftly on. All right. Let's peep. The G.I. Joe trailer, I haven't talked about this before. 
I'm not like a diehard G.I. Joe fan or really a big G.I. Joe fan at all, but it has potential, I think, to be a cool franchise. And I like the I like the live action movies a bit. <laughs> They're kind of like guilty pleasures. So this could be cool. This has potential to be cool. But it's the same shit I complain about all the time. It feels like they're making a project that like isn't really that relevant to the source material. And it's like, why are you calling it this? Well, that's not necessarily true. But I mean, like, just make G.I. Joe 3. Make G.I. Joe Retaliation Part 2. That's what I want to see. Not a Snake Eyes solo origin movie. That's half of a G.I. Joe movie. But also just, like, Snake Eyes. But I felt the same way about Bumblebee. I didn't think a Bumblebee spin-off would be good. And I still haven't seen Bumblebee. But apparently it was good. So, what the fuck do I know? And it's got uh, Iko Uwais in it. I don't know if I pronounced that right. He is based. So, alright, I'm gonna watch it on Kino Check International. That's how you know. I hope this is good. We're gonna see, like, Snake Eyes' face and stuff. Like, what's cool about Snake Eyes, I'm talking about the trailer. This looks retarded. <laughs> what the fuck? Every warrior. How long has my camera been pointing over there? Natural. I'm on a new level. For six hundred years, our ninja have brought peace. Rap music. That's what I like to see in trailers. I'm on a new level. I need warriors like you. Join us. What do I have to do? The journey from here. Snake, they got Snake Eyes talking out here. That dude looked like Tony Todd. It's not him, but that'd be sick. But that is just the beginning. I'm on a new oh, we got the Snake Eyes drift. I'm on a new level. There ain't no tenants. There ain't no tenants. What? In the G.I. Joe comics. Snake Eyes is one what of the What the fuck is this? That's had kind of a mysterious past. Okay, you get bonus. He was famously known as the Silent Ninja. This is morning night. Without ceremony. Like, really he gave it without ceremony. Within an issue called the Silent Incident. Monstrous, the history of words, some just pictures. Shit. When I did the comic, I made it character centric. I came up with the backstory of Storm Shadow take snake eyes into the clan. Larry Hama created the modern day version of what we know G.I. Joe to be. We try to find a balance between what is pre-existing G.I. Joe. Well, that's not Tony Todd, but it's uh, Peter Mensa. People more. Okay. That opened he's up cool. a world of opportunity. Let's do the origin story before he's lost his voice. Or you could just not do that because what's cool about Shooting snake eyes is that you don't see his face and you don't hear his voice. Story. When he goes to Japan, there's some energy that you... Like, this could just be any ninja movie. action movie. What's... I'm super excited for people to see what we're building. This is literally a stepping... What's stone unique to G.I. Joe about it, you know what I mean? You know what I'm fucking talking about? I mean, they might as well call that shit Neon Blades. Don't lie, you were all waiting for me to make that joke. Alright. Well, that was that. That actually looks... That actually does look kind of cool. I was talking shit most of the trailer, but the action, the actual ninja action stuff does look pretty cool. Yeah, it's, uh, we want the John Wick audience. I hope it's good. Uh, cause the other, like, I don't, I don't know so much about Rise of Cobra, but Giant Joe Retaliation was pretty fun. I, I just, I'd rather see a follow up to that than like this pseudo reboot Snake Eye shit, but whatever. This is what we're getting. And, uh, Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's entertaining. Every time I look up, my camera's tilted back like that, and I don't... <laughs> it only looks like shit. Alright, I should finally put this video out of its misery. Thank you for watching. If indeed you still are. Thank you for watching my other videos. Even if you don't watch all my other videos, thank you for subscribing. I've got a lot of subscribers and viewers in the past few weeks. That's cool. None of whom are probably watching this because they don't subscribe for my reaction content. But that's it. There you go. Thanks for watching, as always. And uh, take it easy. Alright, I gotta be able to turn this off. Bye.